I cannot heal him. What? Indeed, this is a very good omen for your family. Tell your father to thank the lords in heaven. You will not think it's such a good omen when you hear what happened next. Yesterday, I lost my vision in my left eye, and I'm afraid that I'm going blind. Please, won't you heal us? I cannot heal you. Go home and tell your father to give thanks for his good fortune. When I asked her to heal us, she said to thank the gods in heaven for our good fortune. Then that is what we should do, Lee. You're blind and I'm going blind. What's so good about that? The wisdom of the sages is beyond our understanding. Besides, it is not often immediately apparent whether something is good or bad. You're crazy. I... Yes? Our island of Potala is going to attack the state of two. By order of King Quan Chung, all able-bodied males are hereby conscripted into the army. Get your father. Let's go. But sir, my father is blind. And my son is blind in one eye. Which eye? <laughs> my left. Ha! Hmm. You must be blind. They're no use to us. Let's go. <laughs> you see a good fortune now, my son? Yes, father, I do. Thank you, merciful one. And so can I. Thank you, Lord of Heaven. If a child forgets its mother, will she coldly turn away? Wise or foolish, we're your children. Hide us, mother, if we stray. on your life. Therefore, a better strategy would be one in which people would not dare to strike you at all. Hmm, well, that's true, I guess. But just because people do not dare to harm you, there's no guarantee that they will not wish to harm you. Therefore, an even better strategy is one that will make people not want to harm you at all. I see what you mean. But just because people do not want to harm you, that does not mean that they will respect you or love you. Suppose you had a strategy that could get them to love you and respect you. 
so that your concerns are their concerns. Would this strategy be several times better than just strength and courage? This is exactly what I'm looking for. <coughs> Buddha never became a king, nor did he hold a political office. However, people gave him respect equal to that of kings and nobles. Everywhere he went, people craned their necks and stood on tiptoes just to catch a glimpse of him. Everyone respected him and wished him well. Your Majesty, you already hold political and military power. If you ruled your people with virtue and integrity, wouldn't your greatness surpass that of the Buddha? Now here's the minister who knows how to talk. She's completely turned me around with her argument. 